this thing right here, you might be able to see it right here. It's not actually part of me. It is the cat. <laughs> you and ideally you've found this video because you've searched up the Rode Video Micro. It's this microphone right here. I've had it for a little while now. I think there's a handful of things you really need to know to get the best out of it and I'm going to tell you about them now. Well, thanks for sticking with us. We're talking about the Rode Video Micro. This is a fantastic microphone. I've had it for a while now. I reckon it's even on a par or better than the Rode Video Go. This thing's really nice and compact. has great pickup. I'm recording on one right now. Firstly, let's have a look. When you pick up the Rode Video Micro, you get a few things. Firstly, you get the microphone, the barrel, you get the uh, Rycoach microphone shock mount, you get the dead cat there, and you get the Rode 3.5 to 3.5mm TRS cable. When I first started using this microphone, I noticed there was a bit of a knocking sound, a bit of a knockling, rattling sound coming out of it, and I couldn't work out what it was for a while. And then I've realised that this microphone here has got uh, end caps, one on the front and one on the back, and you can see that unscrew here. The one on the front of mine was loose, so I had to tighten that up. Once I did that, it was fine. The rattling knocking sound I had heard went away. Secondly, let's talk about this Rycoat shock mount that it comes with. Road, I read somewhere Road saying that this is indestructible and I've given it a heck of a thrashing. I haven't had any problems with it. I can't see any deterioration with it. I've knocked it around in the bag all sorts of places so you probably won't have too many problems with it. Now the next thing is when you install your Rode Video Micro onto that, there, it is notched out for the thing but make sure the Rode logo is facing up. Make sure the Rode logo is facing up and the reason is, is because on the sides of your microphone you can see it has these panels here to pick up the sound coming from the sides of the microphone. That's the way this particular microphone works. Fundamentally from the front and a little bit from the sides and a very very little bit from the rear. This cable here, you plug it in, make sure, you have to make sure that the cable is plugged in. It's got a tendency to sort of half click in but you need to push it in that extra clip. Now I'm going to come back to that cable, but first let's jump to the dead cat really quickly. When installing the dead cat, there is a tendency to push it on and think you've got it on because there it is, it looks okay. But it's a little bit loose as you can see. Now inside here there is a rubber gasket and on here there's an, on the video micro itself, there's a notch. The idea is to get that gasket over the notch. Okay, so you actually have to put it on with quite a bit of force and just kind of wrench it back over that notch. And you'll know you've got it because all of a sudden it it becomes a lot more solid on there as you can see. It's a few things. First of all we've got the end caps. We've got to make sure they're screwed on. We have to make sure our cable's plugged in that extra. We have to make sure the road logo is facing up and we have to make sure the dead cat is pulled right on. So they are four tips to get the best out of the microphone so far. But this last one is the most simple and it's the best yet. Have a look at this. I've got the microphone all mounted up. But look at this. You just move the camera and look at it. It shakes like, shakes like, shakes like. Okay, but there is a real simple and quick fix for this. As you'll see here, this uh, sprocket that you twist to paint down on your hot shoe, it's all notched out. And cleverly enough, it's a perfect size to notch in your 3.5mm cable. And now if we look here, all of a sudden, this is a rattly old thing anyway, and strap pins are shaking, so your microphone's not shaking at all. You can see the microphone is a lot more stable and steady like that. Okay, hey, well I had the microphone for a couple of weeks before I figured all those things out. The end caps, having the logo pointing up, making sure the cable, pulling the dead cat on tight and making sure that cable was notched in there. Hopefully this has been of some help to you. When you get the microphone, do those things right from the start. Otherwise, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.